now at the Agribiosensor again. As I discussed in earlier blogs, there are a lot of misconceptions of what agriculture science is and what we study and what the career pathways we actually have. When you step back and look at it, the degree is actually self, the title of it is actually self-explanatory. Agriculture Science, the, the study of the science of agriculture. But we don't learn how to practice agriculture through putting up fences or milking cows, shearing sheep, or you don't have to work in a regional or rural area. What we learn is how to use sciences such as chemistry, biology, physics to increase the efficiency, productivity and quality of the food products that we eat today. Because at the end of the day, our population is growing but our land masses have grown alongside it. So we have the challenge of feeding all these new citizens with decreasing agricultural land as, urban, as expanding urban areas are taking up land that was once used for agriculture. Australia has a low population density, which means we have the opportunity to become the food bowl of Asia, which means that we need more agricultural science to, yeah, graduates, and the demand is increasing, and it is already as high as enough as it is. So, how high can you go with agricultural science? Just look at Norman Borlaug, an American agriculture scientist, who did research in Mexico and created new wheat varieties that were disease resistance and high yield. He went on later to win the Nobel Peace Prize and was known as the man who saved a billion lives. There's not too many professions that can have that same sort of impact. Maybe agriculture science is the course for you.